So we come to the guard of Bor or Eber, affectionately known by some as prison shack position. This guard is held only on the right, kind of at the right hip. You see the left hand is forward, ready to actually be thrown backwards to help deliver the thrust more powerfully. And Maya tells us that these low guards, like Bor or Eber, they're to be used to counter the high guard. So they're predominantly defensive in use. The first device tells you how you shall let his stroke slide off your dazak and countercut long. When an opponent encounters you in one of the high postures on the right, then position yourself in the bore. As soon as he cuts at you from above, then step well out from his stroke with your right foot towards his left. And at the same time as his step, go up with hanging duzak, so that you let his stroke slide off on your bow. And quickly cut long after, through his left with two strokes, one after the other. Okay, so what does this look like? We're going to first take our bore position. As we were, we're attacked, we're going to go up into our hanging, stepping out to the right. Then we're going to counter attack. Now either stepping again with that double step, or moving around with a triangle. So I'm here, one, two. So pretty straightforward play for us. Position, parry, la posse, la posse. Position, parry, la posse, la posse. Cool. Position, parry, la posse, la posse. And this would often be done with a little spring out to the side. So here, one, two working like that in motion. One. Now there's two steps that you would have seen me using for that. Either are kind of viable steps, I think. You're either going to go up and then use that double step to continue your riposte. Roll the wrist in and move that back foot in the triangle to do your second blow. Or else We've got this option. In our bore, one triangle double step. Okay, and that's this one, that's that's the option which I think flows a little bit more in movement. There's absolutely nothing wrong with the first one if it comes naturally to you. So I'm here in the bore, I spring and hit and bring my fourth forward again. So we're doing that grapevine step. play a part okay reassemble it again okay and play it through through a bunch of times so you understand how the elements stick together make sure you isolate each little bit okay so it's obviously the initial position the hanging parry okay the post one post two cool let's see how the foot and the hand fits together 